Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike from The Pipe Doctor, plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. We are based in Valley Stream, New York. <coughs> Excuse me. This morning, we are installing a new train XR13 condenser as a replacement system for this condo right down the block from our office. Purpose of this video is to show you how to pull a vacuum on a system and then charge. So I'm gonna try to do this in two steps in one video, but if not, I'm just gonna show you how to pull a vacuum and take it from there. This is our condenser. This is a can of R410A. Now I have that hooked up to the, my Hilmer vacuum pump. I got the valve closed. And the purpose of that is I want to also pull this into negative pressure as well. Why not? Why? It's only going to take another second to do that anyway, but let me show you what I got. I got our Schrader core removal tools on the high side and the low side of the system. I got my Testo 557 Micron uh, gauge reader hooked up to the port. And right now I am pulling a vacuum my four port valve they're all open right now and as you can see i am at 1860 microns now general rule of thumb is to pull this down until 500 close the valve see if it holds uh, i like to flush it with nitrogen from that point forward and then do the process again to 500 microns and I do that three times it's called a triple purge and vacuum uh, we do that anytime we commission a system so we're just gonna wait it's at 1800 microns we're gonna make sure all of our connections are nice and tight here you don't want to go super tight hand tight is fine and 1760. So we're gonna let that pull until it gets to 500. On the final run, I like to do it till three, 350. The lower the better. And uh, this is a seven CFM vacuum pump. You know, uh, there is some criticism from others who think that if you're using a large vacuum pump, uh, it's bad for the system because you could have, you know, um, you know, water vapor and, uh, things like that you know crystallize because it's vacuuming so too quickly uh, but I use a seven you know your mileage may vary you know some people use a five um, I think the quicker the better but seven works good for me I do that anywhere from a two to five ton system we don't do that much commercial you know um, pulling a vacuum on commercial systems but when I do I use the seven so there you have it any questions, drop them down in the comments section down below. And uh, I'm going to do a follow-up video on charging using the Testo 557 with the uh, temperature clamps that go on the suction and <coughs> liquid side. All right. Peace out.